farms and food for kids. Hi, friends. Today we are going to talk all about farms and food. Let's start things off with a question: What did you eat for breakfast this morning? Did you have cereal with milk, bacon and eggs? How about toast with butter, honey, or jam? Every day, more than 20 million people wake up in the morning to grow and deliver the foods that you eat. There is a whole system in place that starts with a farm and ends with your food. Excited to learn more? A farm is usually a large area of land used to grow crops and/or raise animals for the production of food. Today. Farms are the main source of food for people in the world. A farmer is a person who does the work on a farm, or owns and manages the farm. Modern technology like tractors, harvesters, and targeted irrigation systems are used to help farming be as efficient as possible. Today, most farms have become specialized. Which means that they focus on one or a few select crops. Some farms produce only corn, some only potatoes, while others may be dairy farms, pig farms, fruit farms, or even fish farms. Without farms, many people in the world would go hungry. Wow, farms seem pretty important, don't you think? Now that we have talked about what a farm is, let's talk about how that food gets to you, so you can eat it. Let's call it the amazing food journey, just for fun. As we mentioned before, the journey of most foods begin on some type of farm, whether it is a glass of milk, a hamburger, an apple, or a piece of bread. The food you eat throughout the day went through several steps to travel from the farm all the way over to your plate. Let's take a look at some of the steps of this amazing food journey to understand how it all works. First, the land is prepared by the farmer by plowing an empty field and turning the soil, often with a machine called a plow. Wow. That's a cool machine. Then the seeds are sowed, or scattered, and are planted. This is often done by another cool machine called a planter or seeder. Next, crops are watered and sometimes sprinkled with fertilizers, which helps the crops grow, and/or pesticides, which are chemicals that prevent pests like bugs from damaging the crops. Farmers use another machine called a sprayer for this job. Once the crops are ready, they are harvested or picked. The farmer then stores the crops, grains or fruits, in giant warehouses. Sometimes, crops are even frozen right after they are harvested. Then, the harvested crops are transported to a wholesaler. Which is a person or company that sells the goods in large quantities, usually to retailers like grocery stores or restaurants. After retailers receive the goods, they place them on their shelves or store them in freezers. Then the food is purchased by you, your parents or caregivers, or even by your school for you to eat and enjoy. Sometimes food products go to a place called a processing plant, which is where harvested food items may be sent to help preserve the food, which means to make it last longer. Many foods have ingredients added to them before they are packaged into boxes, bags, or cans. Some smaller farms may also sell their products at farmers markets. Which are located in cities or suburbs, and specialize in selling fresh fruit, vegetables, eggs, meats, milk, and other crops directly to consumers like you. 
Have you ever been to a farmer's market? Ask your parent or caregiver if there is a farmer's market by you. Now that we know more about farms and food, let's review. True or false, a processing plant helps preserve harvested food to help it last longer. True. Fill in the blank. A person who works on a farm or who owns and manages a farm is called a farmer. Name one modern tool farmers use to harvest their crops. Answers can include tractor, harvester, plow, planter, seeder, sprayer. Great work, fabulous foodies! Farms are a vital part of the process that helps us all get the foods that we need in order to survive. Whether we get a jar of jam from a farmer's market or a hamburger at a restaurant, most of the foods that we eat all begin on a farm. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.